Hey guys, welcome back to another recipe video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the mashed cauliflower recipe that I mentioned in my previous video. And I really love this recipe because it's much lighter and easier to digest, I think, than regular mashed potatoes. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using a regular food processor. And the first ingredient you're going to need is about six to seven cups of cauliflower, so just one head of cauliflower, all chopped up. So we're just gonna throw this in the food processor. And then the other ingredient is a half a cup of raw cashews that has been soaked for at least eight hours or several hours to soften them up a little bit. So it's a half a cup of raw cashews and then you want to blend it with another half a cup of water until it becomes like this very creamy consistency. So instead of oil, we're going to be using a cashew cream. So this is what's going to help make it nice and creamy. Alright, next we're going to use nutritional yeast and this gives it that cheesy flavor and you can find this again at any health food store or Amazon.com, you can order it online. So depending on how cheesy you want it to taste, you can use between a quarter cup to half a cup. For our seasoning, we're going to be using about, uh, about one half or a half a tablespoon of namashoyu to one tablespoon. If you don't have namashoyu, you can use soy sauce. And then one teaspoon of sea salt. For my herbs, I'm using about one teaspoon of rosemary, dried rosemary. Okay, I also have chopped chives and parsley, but I'm gonna actually blend this up first so that it's nice and smooth. And then at the end, I'm gonna toss the herbs in there and just lightly process it so that it doesn't blend it up too much. So let's go ahead and give this a nice blend. And then occasionally you want to scoop the sides so that it becomes well incorporated. Scoop this up. eyeball it. If you want it more of a creamy texture, then you can start adding a little bit of water in there. Just play around with the amount because it really just depends on how big your cauliflower was, how much cauliflower you used. So, just another blend. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my parsley and chives. I like a lot of chives, so this is about a quarter cup, maybe a little bit more than a quarter cup of chopped chives, fresh. Toss that in there. And then I'm using about a tablespoon of fresh parsley. So at this point, I'm just gonna lightly process it. Okay, 
almost there. <laughs> So it looks ready to go. I'm gonna put it in a bowl so I can show you guys what the consistency looks like. And as you guys can see, it didn't take much to put this together. So because it's processed in a food processor, you don't have to do too much chopping, just light chopping of the cauliflower. And then the processor just does everything for you. Throw this in a bowl. And this will keep in your fridge for about two to three days. Okay. okay. So as you guys can see here, it is smooth and creamy like regular mashed potatoes. And again, if you want it even creamier, you can add some extra water uh, to cream, make it even more creamy and to get a smoother consistency. So let's try it. Mm. This is so delicious. And it tastes just like mashed potatoes. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. I'm so pleased like my video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all at Curly Nutrition. So thank you guys for joining me and I will see you in my next video.